Hey again guys, what's up? It's Kuro. Welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in for another video. In this week we are we are going to do another video on wild and crazy fursuits. Let's kick it off with the first one. And that's gonna be this super awesome fursuit made both by Gemstone Designs and the head by Nubby Tail Productions. But just look at how intense and amazing this suit is. The big ol' thighs, the big ol' tail, the really unique ears, and fantastic color styling. Just chef kiss. I love this suit. I think it is so cool. The way the tail wags and how big this suit looks, but how easily everything moves. This is absolutely fantastic stuff here. The way they have managed to make this suit look so effortless to wear is really fantastic. Second up on this list is going to be this super cool fursuit design by Stardust Suits. And I'm not quite sure what the species is of this fursuit, but Star looks super cool. They have sort of like star antennas on their design and I'm not sure if those are dreadlocks or hair, like, or tentacles. I'm not quite sure, but I just absolutely love the design of this suit. I think it's unique, I think it's different, and I'm a sucker for some purple. And I really can't wait to see them make more. I believe that they made this suit, and I think it looks fantastic if they did. The full design of this costume is really quite fantastic. It Third up is going to be Fluffy Dutchy and their Dutch Angel Dragon suit. And I believe they are a MCC fursuiter, so they didn't make this suit, but they own this suit. And just the design of this suit is super badass. Uh, really intricate markings, feathers, designs. I know a lot of Angel Dragon suits have complex designs like this, but this one particularly I like for the color scheme. And all of the extra like features on the suit and again this is another one where they make it seem like wearing the suit is almost effortless there's a lot going on and it is definitely working fourth up is another dutch angel dragon but this is kazuzu the duchy and they actually have a kimono duchy which i have never seen one in a kimono style i don't know if it's actually possible uh considering like i actually don't know all the requirements for a duchy but i don't care i love this suit i love the wings and the horns on this suit they have the big floofy neck donut and just an overall this one is like a cute cool hybrid so this one could have been in either the wild and crazy fursuits video or the super cute fursuits video but i put it in this one because I've never seen a kimono duchy, so I thought that was pretty different and thought that they deserve to have a spot on this list. And the suit maker is Nika Thalia on Twitter. I'm sorry, I hope I pronounced your name right. I'm really bad at that stuff sometimes, but I love this design and you did a fantastic job making it. Fifth is going to be Blush, which is a CC cat and they are made by Feather Hoodie. This is a closed species that has been custom made and I love the design and aesthetic of this. It's different, but in a really cool, really creepy, and at the same time, cute way. This suit in particular doesn't have any eyes and you actually see through the mouth, which is from a design standpoint, really interesting because you have to sort of change the way you make a suit if you're seeing out of something other than the eyes. And I think that they did a fantastic job of making it look like the wearer is actually not seeing out of anything. The teeth are fantastically made, the tail is super cool, those gloves are very like spiky looking, and I both want to hug and run away from this suit. So very well done. Next up is this very interesting designed fursuit by Stand By Sweet Cheeks. And 
again, this one kind of falls under the cool cute hybrid, but I think it's kind of wild and crazy, again, because they have a different shape and style to the head. This one is basically flat and a sort of like mask aesthetic. I don't know if it's from something, so I apologize if this is from something specific or based off of something specific. Super cool design, super unique. You don't see fursuits like this really at all. So I think the change in face aesthetics is a fantastic choice and it really works for this suit and gives it kind of a cool, cute vibe. I'm going to assume you see out of the spirals of the eye parts or the mouth, uh, but good job on doing this and making it look like it's actually meant to be there. Next on this list, I know I have talked about them before, but this is Lilia West's Anteater, and she designs amazing stuff. She basically is like the queen of quad suits. But she takes on so many unique and different animals and she does a fantastic job of making them fit the human shape while still looking like they actually are a real animal. And this anteater definitely does it. Honestly, I don't really ever see anteaters. This might be the only one I've ever seen. Of course, there might be more, I just, I don't know. I don't know all fursuits of all people in the fandom, but of... The one that I've seen, this is the best one. This is the coolest one. It's so realistic. And that tongue is adorable with its little curl. And I can't even begin to wrap my head around how she made this. It's just fantastic and so cool. I want to see it in person. I don't know where the suit is at. If you have the suit, please go to a convention I'm at. Please. Next up on this list is going to be Arioki's Cat Skull Suit. Undead cat? Skeletal cat? Whatever whatever this is. What, whatever you want to call this um, version of a cat. And this is made by Bushang? Bushang? Uh, fantastic. I love the undead aesthetic. I love that you also mixed like decay and nature in with it. And it is beautiful. It is like absolutely beautiful. One of the most beautiful suits I think I've seen ever. The moss and the flower, weed, grass whiskers are a fantastic touch. It's super cool. The entire design of this suit is just visually stunning. I would have never thought to do something like this with the rib cage and the skull and then have fur so that it's like halfway decayed but like still really freaking gorgeous. Uh, Love this suit. Want to see this suit in person, too. Just, oh my gosh, so cool. Next up, they're fursuits, but they're not, like, original characters. They're actually Pokemon. So, y'all know I love Pokemon, and I think these ones look like they've been straight up ripped out of the game. And this is a Shiny Luxio and Greninja by Kemono Michi 31 I don't have to explain much. They look legit. The shape is perfect. The Luxio, like, sitting on all fours, looks like it is an actual Luxio come to life. Grey Ninja looks great, and I mean, who doesn't love a good Grey Ninja? The amount of time and attention to details that these must have taken to make, just... You're really good with shaping the body and making them look like that traditional, iconic Pokemon style. So great job love these. These are so cool. Not enough shiny Pokemon are made. I think more people should make the shiny versions if they're going to make a suit. They look fantastic. All right, and the last one on this list is going to be by, this is their Twitter handle, Bring2222. I, uh, I don't know their official, like if they have a fursuit making business, but this is where I found the suit. So, Hopefully this is the owner or the maker, and if not, let me know so I can, like, credit them properly. But this one was tough to find, but I saw this, like, in passing on Pinterest, and the gold and the black and the white and the gold horns, like, I'm a sucker for intricate markings, as you can tell, as I have mentioned a lot before, and this kimono suit, just amazing. It 
I don't know specifically what species it is, if it's a hybrid of a bunch of stuff, but it kind of looks like a cat dragon. Again, I just think it's a really crazy, cool-looking style, and I think this suit would be an attention-grabbing costume if you saw it in person. But that is all the crazy fursuits for part two of Wild and Crazy Fursuits. Which one was your favorite? Which one do you think should have been on this list that wasn't? Leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. And hey, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing as it does really help out my channel. So that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to tune in next week for even more super fun furry content. That's all for now. As always, guys, I'm Kuro from Kimono Dungeon Fursuits. Bye for now.